Okay, Rose has watched every episode of Friends, so my question is, what did she say to her mom when she watched this episode? Is your name Chandler? Mom, how were you uh, able yes, to land yes, such a plum guest play. role in the biggest sitcom in history? And how were you also in this other movie playing a hooker with a heart of gold? In fact, doesn't Dad look a lot like that squirrely kid in the Dead Poet Society? This movie had a lot of unrealistic scenes and I had a feeling I was going to be rolling my eyes a lot and watching characters acting like morons. As soon as I saw the opening scene, when they showed this family with a modest income taking a weekend getaway and booking this massive mansion. I mean, look at this thing. This is what the CEO of General Electric would book for his family, not a professor at a city college and advertising account manager. And Amanda just booked it without consulting her husband? Wake up, honey. I got good news and bad news. The good news is that we're going for a sick weekend vacay. The bad news is I blew our retirement nest egg, so we're going to be working until we're 90. Kids, get up so I can start packing for our weekend trip, even though you're teenagers. And don't worry about your homework. We can't afford college anymore. But on the plus side, you can go swimming. If we're lucky, Armageddon will start this weekend, so we're out of the city and we'll be able to stay at this huge mansion and not worry about blowing our life savings. And here's doomsday prepper Danny, who's loading up bottled water and a bunch of amateur hour emergency buckets instead of valuable stuff for the end of times that he can barter and use, like canned goods, booze, cigarettes, batteries, tools, flashlights, and firearms and ammo. I don't mind, I swear. Relax. Okay, I since the dawn of civilization and the invention of marriage, this has maybe happened life. twice. Wow. Uh-oh, this close, huge huh? oil tanker is barreling down at 100 miles an hour. Should we run away from the beach? No, let's run perpendicular so we can get a more dramatic camera angle. And I really doubt a ship would be able to make it that far onto the beach after hitting sand. Been a handful of these groundings up the coast, something to do with the nav system. Oh, I see. So someone hacked into the navigation systems of all these ships and airplanes and somehow disabled the manual control so the pilots all helplessly watched as they crashed. Get the f out of here. There's a lot of weird red herrings in this movie. Are you setting this up to be an alien invasion here or something? Don't their iPads have an auto sleep mode? Hmm, how strange. They built this super luxe mansion but forgot to install a doorbell? I'm so sorry to bother you. Children are sleeping. Yeah, I wouldn't worry too much about them. I mean, Archie'd sleep through the atom bomb. Foreshadowing. Well, here's an idea. Go to a hotel. That's actually a fair this point. They couldn't it's stay at a hotel for one night and then come in the morning? Could I see your ID? Also a fair, ask. a fair ask. Okay, he lost his wallet, but he knows that that sounds sus. Can't you show them your car registration with your name on it? Did your daughter also lose her wallet too? Do you not have a single family photo inside your house that you can show this nervous Karen to soothe her nerves? We need to get them out of here. This is kind of a red herring that makes them seem like scammers or something. I was literally about to start the friend series finale. So instead of entertaining this conversation about a sitcom, the mom isn't going to mention that there are two strangers that showed up last night and are staying downstairs so she doesn't freak out when they pop up for some cereal. Whose car is that? All right, now would be the perfect time to mention the two people downstairs, right? No? I was just telling Rose about this guy. Okay, finally she's going to tell her this critical information. Oh wait, you let her get distracted and just drop it? Great parenting. This is very realistic. A herd of deer with giant antlers are staring at a kid, so she just goes up to them in the open field where there's nowhere to hide and also doesn't mention this little tidbit to her parents. And they're not seeing any of this? And why the hell would these animals suddenly act like this? Oh man, I just heard humans lost internet access. This affects us a lot, so let's reprogram millennia of genetic programming and gather every deer from the Tri-County area so we can stare at this one family to creep them out. Thought I'd go over to our neighbor's house, the Huxley. They only live a few miles down the I'm not very familiar with the greater New York City area, but somehow I have a hard time believing that you can just drive a few miles outside the city and suddenly you're in such a remote area that your closest neighbors are a few miles away. Man, for a super smart guy, George has terrible situational awareness. He doesn't notice all this debris and wreckage as soon as he pulls up. At first I assumed it was looters, but I think it's supposed to be caused by the earlier plane crash. But how the hell would a plane crash cause the front door to unlock and open? Wow, good thing your neighbor keeps that thing charged up at all times. And you're not going to take it with you just in case? And don't worry about closing the door. Thanks a lot, neighbor. Uh, you didn't notice all this other death and destruction until after you saw the watch and dead pilot? And what an odd wreckage pattern. 
How did it crash exactly in a way that completely covered the pilot except his watch? And he was just completely buried a second ago, so did you just dig him out of the shallow pit? Well, at least you're safe there, because what are the odds that another plane will crash in exactly the same spot while you're there? And exactly how many miles away are you from your neighbors? No one heard two massive airplanes crash landing just a few miles away? Come on, say these people were. Uh, they're the owners of this house and they're staying because of a power outage in the city. How exactly did your mom explain it in a way that would cause you to be confused about it? Oh, Archie, there's a couple strangers who I guess showed up or something and are crashing here. Don't worry about it. Okay, mom, that's good enough for me. Why do these morons keep checking their phones and burning out their batteries? It's out. Plus, I never see any of them charging up their devices, but only leaving them on all night for no reason. If you have a bad sense of direction, wouldn't you draw a map so they can get back? Or even better, wait for George to draw you one instead of wasting gas during the possible zombie apocalypse like an idiot. First of all, what would she be doing out there in the middle of nowhere? Secondly, how come there's no one else around, including any of the locals? If the shit did hit the fan in New York City and there was mass chaos and civil war a few miles away, you can be damn sure there would be thousands of city folk flooding that area and breaking into homes like the Walking Dead by now. If you're gonna drive away, why the hell are you driving away so slowly or is it for a dramatic effect? Oh man, I could go for a mocha frappuccino right about now. Man, our enemies are so smart, they somehow rigged up a small drone to drop a sh ton of flyers and also decided to carpet bomb this empty field. Who cares? No, this was different. A bit of a creep and then some. This place is so fucking boring. Yeah, can you believe that our idiotic ancestors actually survived without video games and Wi-Fi? Such boring losers with all their bushcraft and survival skills and tools, which I assume are completely worthless now. Maybe it's just where he sleeps, though. Another impression. red herring. Is this supposed to be the cabin in the woods or something? You going in? This is also super realistic. You? The two people that hate each other the most are in this mansion and not only decide to hang out at the pool at the same time, but decide to sit right next to each other and start insulting each other for no reason. Your daughter watches that show? Yeah, she also likes to turn off the auto sleep mode and leave the power on 24-7 for some reason. Uh-oh, that could be a tick that will cause all of your teeth to fall out tomorrow, son. There's no cell service there, moron. Stop wasting your battery. Yeah, I fell into the pool. Do you mind going to my study and getting me something to wear? And since we're in a doomsday scenario, maybe pick out something non-Brooks Brothers? I mean, it is your house, and I assume you have other clothes and footwear, or do you feel that penny loafers are the most practical shoes to help you survive the zomba pock? But you can tell he's the smartest one of the group, yeah, because at least he's not weathering the end of days while running around in his pajamas, swimsuit and Birkenstocks and flip-flops and bare feet. What? Don't you think you're maybe getting a little carried away? I saw a plane nose dive out of the sky into the ocean. Actually, I'm kind of surprised none of you heard that massive explosion. So exactly what kind of weapon would be able to generate that kind of sonic energy to break windows and lights? Do you know how much power you'd need to run something like that? And why would it be directed in an isolated area? Should have covered my ears sooner. Yeah, I wish I had some kind of reflexive survival instinct. It was so boring, though. Was it a, um, like a, a plane breaking the sound barrier? Are you a moron? Is, Is this guy 16 or 6 years old? Did that sound anything like a plane breaking the sound barrier? This guy deserves to be out of the gene pool. Maybe it was a plane that we don't know about. Oh yeah, there's all kinds of experimental stealth fighters that make sustained high-pitched noise when they fly by. At the market in town yesterday, there was a guy in the parking lot. He bought cases of water and canned goods. Canned goods? Where were these canned goods that you saw him loading up? Bearded guy. That's Danny. So you're telling me there's only it's one person in the whole community that's smart enough to stock up? And he's the only one with a beard? Actually, it's more like a goatee. Yeah, no need to lock any doors during Armageddon. Death to America. Oh, I see. So you recognize the Arabic script because of a video game, even though you could only partially see the writing from across the room? Get the f*** out of here. That's crazy. We haven't seen anyone. Yeah, that is weird that all the roads are completely empty and no one's around. I'm assuming it's because you stars ate up all the salary budget and they couldn't afford any extras on this movie. Oh, this makes perfect sense. No other cars but only a line of white Teslas in the one road that leads in and out of town, which means that they live in a peninsula and there's a Tesla dealer in this one horse town that specializes only in white Teslas, which were all hacked in a way to override the auto braking sensors. Exactly how many white Teslas did the dealership have on their lot? And did you consider maybe pulling off to the shoulder in your SUV instead of driving towards them at breakneck speed? 
In fact, you could leave town if you just drove on the shoulder. And you're telling me there are thousands of cars stranded, but still there are zero people or looters anywhere? Uh-huh. No, I don't think so. Well, surprise, surprise! So he lets them back in and also gives them the top floor? I don't think so. Jesus, turn it off. Going to town on that thing, aren't you? Whoa. Too late. What is it? That's like marijuana. Marijuana? Marijuana now, as much of it as possible. My client, he, I won't say his name, but you'd recognize it though. He was the kind of guy that was always known for jokes like that. If I told you his name, you'd understand. Hmm. I'm really curious it's about who this bigwig client is that he has such a name time. recognition that the average Joe also understands his sense of humor. I mean, it could be anyone since I can list off at least a dozen executives in the defense contracting industry just off the top of my head. Even if I buy that there's something causing animals to freak out and change their migration patterns, are you telling me that these flamingos flew all the way from Florida to New York in one day? I don't think so. I'm gonna say it now. Julia Roberts should win an Oscar just for her amazing display of authentic super Karen dance moves. Working on our white moves. Trying to lose the awkward teenage blues. Another totally realistic scenario with these two who were untrusting strangers yesterday, but now are flirting with an affair, even though her husband could pop in at any second, and also his wife is missing and probably at the bottom of the Atlantic Ocean. For some reason, it always annoys me in these doomsday scenarios when people waste their batteries and candles. You're sleeping. Do you really need seven candles burning right now? Do you have a candle factory in the basement or something? I keep thinking about this one West Wing episode. You watched the West Wing. Only the Aaron Sorkin seasons. Oh yeah, this checks out. This little girl is not only a fan of the West Wing, but also knows who Aaron Sorkin is. Get the f*** out of here, man. This dude seems surprisingly chill about this new development. Did he just hit that vape pen for a little wake and bake? I touched them, they just they fell out. I, I don't know. Warm. And you didn't just touch them. You were pulling on them for some reason like a moron. And kind of a dick move to just spit up on their carpet like that. Wait. Well, we have to do something. Archie needs to see a doctor. Wait, I thought of a better idea. Since there are zero doctors or nurses in this upscale community, we should go see my redneck contractor. I looked all over the house, she's not here. Okay, now that you all know that this is a real emergency situation, you're gonna change into some practical clothes and footwear before you head out in the woods, right? And since we just found out that Archie got a bug bite that may have caused his teeth to fall out, let's go ahead and hang out inside this cabin instead of the house. Oh my god, what a scary and dangerous situation. If only there was a place nearby that you could shelter inside with a door and pitchforks and weapons. Or you could just scream your head off like a couple of idiots. What the f*** are you doing? So Danny here is a doomsday prepper or survivalist, and finally the s*** hit the fan and he's ready for desperate city folk to come and loot, but for some reason he hasn't even boarded up the first floor windows? I don't think so. His teeth, huh? Well, it's gotta have something to do with that noise. Actually, Havana syndrome caused headaches, dizziness, and brain fog. No one's teeth fell out. But Danny seems to know what he's talking about because he has a miracle cure stocked up. If you some medicine that can help and George is so sure that he's got the cure that he's risking a shootout with this dude who's got a shotgun? I don't think so. No, no way. And now Danny's just gonna let Clay walk right up to him so close where he can grab his shotgun? No way, man. It's the Koreans behind all of it. For a friend of mine in San Diego, except they were in Korean. Or Mandarin. Actually, Mandarin is the which. spoken form of Chinese. But in any case, if your buddy can't read Chinese or Korean, why would he assume it's the Koreans? And I assume he means the dirt poor North Koreans and not the BTS army, right? Whoa, those pills really worked. Two minutes later, he actually looks cured. I just wish they showed the name of the medication so I can go to Walgreens and stock up on some anti-Havana syndrome miracle pills just in case. A simple three-stage maneuver that could topple a country's government. So you're telling me that even if our enemies teamed up and somehow cut off all communications, including internet, broadcast, satellite, AM, FM, and shortwave radio, that the military chain of command would break down immediately and we'll be nuking each other within two days? Good to know. Hmm, what is she looking at? Oh my god, there was a massive explosion that close to us, but somehow it didn't make any sound? Man, those Koreans are good. I'm going. I can totally see this happening. During a doomsday scenario, this little girl is going to go take off by herself without telling anyone and break into a house. 
And you're telling me that the Thorns are so prepared that they built a secret doomsday bunker but have such a flimsy door that a little girl can easily break into? And they didn't bother to try to hide the entrance of their bunker and even left it unlocked? Get the f*** out of here. Well, I just hope that after watching this 140 minute movie we're at least going to get a satisfying conclusion that ties up all the loose ends. Oh, you motherfucker.